Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and today I'm gonna show you how to use a Stylus. Now what we're gonna do is go through the process of installing Stylus, and then we're going to write some very basic boilerplate code. Then you can then see how Stylus compiles out to CSS, just like we've been doing with other things like SAS. So let's get into that right now. So to start, we're at the Stylus website, which is at learnboost.github.io slash stylus. I'll put a link to this in the description of the video so you can get here easily. Now, this site gives you a basic overview about everything you can do with Stylus, and it even gives you just a nice uh, introduction where it says, CSS needs a hero, and gives you an example of standard CSS. It tells you, what if we could omit the braces? Well, we get rid of the braces. What if we could omit the semicolons? And then, what if we can omit the colons? Keeping things dry by adding mixins, and then they even go further to make this mixin transparent, so it just looks like a normal CSS property. Then it allows you to import other stylus documents along with plugins and things like that. And it even gives you some language functions like a sum of all of these numbers. And then it makes all of these things optional. So this, which looks just like normal CSS, is valid stylus and it's going to uh, output just like it would if you were typing stylus without the brackets. So that makes Stylus very attractive. You can write this code any way you want. So if you prefer just to omit just the, the braces, that's cool. If you wanna have the semicolons and colons, that's cool too. So it's really all about how you want to write your CSS. Okay, so now to get started, we need to install Node.js. So you can do that by clicking on this Node.js link, which is gonna take you to nodejs.org. And as you can see, we can just install it with this big old install button, which is gonna give you the correct installer for whatever system you're running. So you can install Node.js as you need to, and then continue after it's finished installing. Now that Node is installed, we now have access to something called NPM, which is the Node Package Manager. It's going to allow us to install packages like Stylus. Now to use the Node Package Manager, in Terminal we just have to simply type npm. Now if we want to install a specific package, the command is npm install and then the package name. Now this hyphen g is, means it's installing it globally on your system so that you can use it as an executable outside of a project, right? So this isn't just installing this into a particular project, it's installing it onto your system. So let's go ahead and you open up our terminal and we can type npm install and then stylus and then hyphen g. Now, you might get some errors saying that you don't have permissions if you're trying to install this as a root administrator installing it globally in your system. Now, if you get these errors, you can just simply type sudo and then the, uh, the same command, which was npm install stylus and then hyphen g. Now it's just going to ask you for your password, which you can enter, and now it should install globally, no problem. Okay, after that's complete, you now have access to use stylus. Now I am in a directory named stylus here. I haven't really set anything up. Uh, so if you see inside, I'll just have this npm debug log file. There's really nothing in here. So let me actually go ahead and create a new file and I'm gonna open up Sublime Text to do this. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a stylus document. Now to do that, I'm just gonna click new file um, and you can do this any way you feel comfortable in any text editor you wish. And the name of this file is just going to be style.styl. Now STYL is the extension for stylus files. I mean, if you're used to something like SAS, you're used to having SCSS or SASS files. This is just the equivalent of that. So if we hit enter, we now have a stylus file. So let's go ahead and try something out and get it to compile. So we can just type body, you can hit enter, tab over to the next line, and now we wanna give the background a color. So I'm just going to say background red. Now if you're using something like Sublime Text, you'll notice that this reads this as a plain text file because it's not used to the STYL extension. We can head over to package control really quickly uh, con package control install package, and then add in the stylus package. Now this is going to give us access to the stylus document style here that we can just say uh, 
package control, we can just type stylus now, set syntax to stylus. If you're not using Sublime Text, uh, whatever system you are using may already have a, a stylus extension. And if it doesn't, you can go ahead and browse the internet for that. Okay, so now we have this really basic stylus document that's saying, all right, my body, I want the background to be red. Now, if you're familiar with writing a lot of CSS, this would typically look like something like bracket, bracket, semicolon, or colon, and then semicolon, just like this. And with stylus, just think that you can keep your CSS the same way and just delete all that stuff. It's just less typing. Okay, now let's watch this get compiled. To do that, we wanna use the watch command, which you may be familiar with uh, from using SAS if you've used that, or any other of these things where you're watching files. Now what the watch command is going to do is it's going to watch for any time this file has made a change and it's been saved, and it's gonna recompile this and turn this into CSS. So let's go ahead and come back to our terminal. Now to turn our stylus into CSS, we need to compile it using the stylus command in our terminal from the directory where our project is. Now I'm in the root level of our project. Now for this particular example, I just have the style.styl file in the main directory of this project. So now to do that, we just need to type stylus and then space hyphen W for watch which is gonna watch the file and check for updates every time it's been saved, and then it's gonna recompile. And then we just need to tell it what file to watch. Now we're gonna point this to the direct path. Since this file's in the root directory of the directory I'm in right now, I can just type in style.styl, and it's gonna automatically compile this into the same directory just as a .css file. So if I click enter, you can see that it's watching and that it's compiled into SCSS and now it's watching this particular file. If we come to our Sublime Text now, you can see we can save this, head back to our terminal, and you get a little message saying it was compiled again. Now, we have this file style.css that we didn't create ourselves, and if you click it, you'll see that we have this compiled body background color of red. So this is our stylus completely compiled. If we change this to something like blue, save it, move over to our CSS, you'll notice that this has been changed as well. It's really fast and it just updates while you're working. Now, of course, you'd point your HTML to the CSS file just like you would any other uh, CSS document. This just helps you create CSS faster, easier, cleaner, whatever, just like SAS does, just a little bit different. Now, like we showed before, you could add a semicolon here if you really wanted, and that's not gonna break anything. You could add a colon here if you really wanted. It's not gonna break anything. And no matter what, you get the same output. I personally really like Stylus's clean style without all of these brackets and colons and semicolons, so I prefer to write my stylus like this, but if you like your CSS to look like CSS, then by all means, leave the brackets, colons, and semicolons in. Great, so we've now got stylus up and running, we're watching, and this isn't the only way you can compile your stylus. You can also use things like prepros or uh, code kit, or even build processes like gulp or grunt, all of which have stylus options available. So in the next video, we're gonna show you everything you need to know about variables in stylus. As always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.